ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਰੀਡਰ 3A 2019 ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਸਨ 4 ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿੰਗ ਲੈਸਨ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਯੂ نو ਪ੍ਰੈਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨਸ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਰਾਈਟ ਪ੍ਰੈਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨਸ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਵੇਅਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਆਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਲਰਨ ਪ੍ਰੈਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨਸ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਬਟ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਥੈਟ ਲੈਟਸ نو ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸਸ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਓਕੇ grammar point 1 there are no upper case or lower case letters in gurmukhi so in english you have to learn upper case and lower case but in punjabi you only have to learn penti akri grammar point 2 at the end of sentences there's a stick that says it is the end it is called dandi everybody say dandi good it is the same as a period in english this means end of a sentence comma is the same as we use in english it is used to separate items in a sentence same thing is with the question mark grammar point 3 one part of speech is prepositions they tell where things are you will use some of these prepositions in this lesson some prepositions in punjabi are these now one interesting thing is that we call them post positions in punjabi because they are used after the noun or after the adjective or after the um verb so we are going to call them post positions okay they're not prepositions prepositions okay some of these are utte te we can use utte or te both are correct on top of thalle down heta under same thing down and under heta thalle right no to or towards wal towards kone te on the corner or you can say kone vich in the corner passe te on the side vich kar between so when when you are um, among two things there's two things around you one in this side one you say vich kar agge ahead or in front piche behind or in back nede kol nal there are three prepositions post positions that mean the same thing they means near or next to sajje passe on the right side khabbe passe on the left side andar inside and bahar will be outside theek hai now here is a map of the classroom okay and here are items that are labeled with numbers right and we are going to um read the names and then answer some questions so let's go this one is in number 15 it's called kand the wall 14 chhat ceiling or roof both are called chhat okay uh this is projector this is bari bari is window there's blinds here bulletin board okay ya suchna board bhi keh sakde hain assi chalk board globe globe this is globe kadi kitaban di almari buha kitaban desk basta farsh floor kursi and teacher desk theek hai eh bachiyan da desk a teacher desk theek hai okay what are books called in punjabi books these are books kitaba right kitaba what is bookshelf called in punjabi bookshelf where is it kitaba di almari right kitaba di almari ja phatta phatta bhi keh sakde hain assi par kitaba di almari what is chalkboard called in punjabi chalkboard what is chair called in punjabi kursi what is floor called in punjabi farsh what is ceiling called in punjabi chhat right what is wall called in punjabi kand what is clock called in punjabi kadi watch and clock they're both the same in punjabi what is door called in punjabi buha or darwaza what is backpack called in punjabi 
basta. Right? So that's the new vocabulary you learned today. Now, you will need to look at the map again, but here are uh, some um, items that we need to figure out the prepositions for them. Look at the map of the class on the previous page. We will ask and answer questions about the position of each object in class with relation to another object. We will use prepositions to answer those questions. Read the questions and answers below. Some words may be missing in some questions or answers. Write those words, then read the questions and answers. So a lot of work to do. We have to first read the question, write the answers, then write the answer and read them again. Kitaban di almari kithe hai? So if we go back, kitaban di almari. So in relation to door, kitaban di almari, we are using the same words from the question. Buhe de sajje paase hai. It's on the right side of the door. Kadi kithe hai? Kadi kand de utte hai? Jaan kadi buhe de utte hai? So it's on top of the door or on the wall, right? Chalk board kithe hai? Chalk board, bulletin board, ate kitaban di almari de vichkar hai. So here, let me show you. Chalk board, bulletin board, ate kitaban di almari de vichkar hai. It's in the middle, right? Bari kithe hai? Bari buhe de samane hai. Here, here's the window. And here's the door. So we are using the word samani. Okay? To see every case the teacher, the desk, the nede hai. Right? Every to see case the. So now let's see. What word is missing here? So we don't know what word. Let's read the answer. Kursi desk de piche hai. So what are we asking? Kithe hai? Kursi, right? So we write the word kursi from here. Blank kithe hai? We don't know. Let's read the answer. Teacher di kursi bari de nere hai. So what's the question? Teacher di kursi kithe hai? So what is missing? What word? Let's read the answer. Kitaba desk de utte han. So what are they asking? Kitaba kithe han. Very good. Blank kithe hai? We don't know what they're asking. Let's read the answer. Globe. Kitaba di almari de utte hai. So what are they asking? Globe kitte hai. Good job. Bulletin board kitte hai. So what should be the answer here? Bulletin board teacher de desk de piche hai. Basta kitte hai. Basta kursi de piche hai. Kitaba di almari vich ki hai. So let's look at Kitaba di almari. So here's Kitaba di almari. Kitaba di almari vich ki hai? Kitaba di almari vich kitaba han. Right? So that's the answer you will write. So that was easy. So this is your homework. Same thing. There are questions and then you have to write the answers now. Right? Here we only wrote the missing words. Here you have to write the whole answer. So a sample is done for you. Okay? Chalkboard kithe hai? Chalkboard, bulletin board, ate kitaba di almari de vichkar hai. It's copied from here, right? Globe kitte hai. So you can find out here from here and you can write the answers. Take it. Basta kitte hai. Projector kitte hai. Projector chat de utte hai. Pencilan kitte han. Pencilan desk te han. So e to see, sare question padke, harik the answer to koke. Take it. And then you're going to become a very good Punjabi reader. So this was lesson for today. And we will meet again in the next lesson. Until then, Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.